Now I'd like to briefly show you how an if-done order can be accomplished with a Gina trader. Here we have a downwards movement, and if the market breaks through this point two here, then we would like to go short. To do so, we place a sell stop order in the market here. Initially, it will be a suggested order in the currency pair Euro Australian Dollar. Here we enter the order size. Okay. But now what we want is that if the market goes through this mark here, that a stop order is also in place for this. So here we enter a buy stop into the market. And maybe here, at the low of the previous day, we would like to enter a target order. That is to say a limit order. So that if the market comes down to here, the position is taken out of the market. Using the ALT key, we can connect these two orders to each other. So this here would be the entry order, this here would be the stop order, and this would be the target order. And also, of course, if the entry order is reached, we would also like to activate the target order so that it is then switched on in the market. So once again, we do this by holding down ALT and clicking on the other order. The green line shows an if done connection. Now we'll activate this entry order. To show the effect, I'll bring it closer to the market and then confirm it. We'll wait to see what happens. The market has now gone through this order and at the same time the stop order here as well as the target, this limit order here, has been activated. Now we're in a discretionary strategy and are protected in case the market turns around here and goes back. Here we have a stop order which is now activated in the market and down here we have a limit order in the market which will take us out of the market if the market reaches this price mark here.